everyone and welcome back to another American Truck Simulator video. Today, we are going to be taking a company run with uh, the Swift company uh, here. And we're going to go from Lawton up to Clinton, Oklahoma. We're going to check out more of the Oklahoma DLC. And uh, yeah, I'm super excited excited about this I should be too so I hope everyone's having a wonderful weekend we're in default truck but the skin is customized uh, let's put this thing into gear like that oh, there we go I'm driving an automatic today but, um, yeah that should be a fun trip uh, when I was doing the uh, first look I was like there's a Swift so I was like okay let's I have a great idea for a video and it was this one so that's why we're doing that Oop. just gonna run into that barrier over there so we are officially moved over to project next gen uh, I removed the shaders, so this is all Project Next Gen graphics, which is super cool. Everything from the uh, so yeah, the shaders are gone. Uh, the JBX shaders are, and the mod is gone. We just unmoved it so I want to see what project the new project next gen has for us so we're on version 1.08 on the project next gen and then uh, what is it and then um, we're gonna be moving forward with the Oklahoma DLC. So we're gonna check out the event later. We'll be doing a live stream about that. Um, we still have the Roland Peterbilt. I love that truck. Um, and I am super excited to check out the Swift. As you can see, we're in Lawton, and you can see right over uh, beyond those trees is the Swift Company, which is pretty cool how they have that modeled. Well, it's the realistic companies, but you have the GP Grand Pacific and right across the road to the uh, right is the Swift Transportation Co. Company which is pretty cool so we're gonna and I know these guys run out of Arizona but we're just gonna pretend that they are have a company in Oklahoma, which I think they actually do. Um, but the main hub of Warner, uh, of Swift, not Warner, uh, the main hub where they get transferred, where they make the uh, trailers and stuff, where all the trailers go, the main hub is Arizona. But I think they also have a bunch of Swift companies, like smaller uh, chains in Oklahoma or across the United States. So I thought this was going to be a cool one. We have a stop sign right here. Both ways, 
look both ways again. You always want to do that. I do that in real life. I, whenever I'm making a turn, um, whether it be on a stop sign side road or a busy street getting onto a local highway, you know that there's nobody on the roads. You always want to make sure that they're not. There are no other trucks and stuff. Especially what happened yesterday with the traffic. I mean, people were cutting us off. It was, even on the live stream, people were cutting us off. It was like crazy. And somebody uh, got into an accident. All right, so Swift. Lawton to Clinton, taking nuts, 39, uh, 40,000 pounds worth of nuts going to the General Mills in Clinton. Uh, and I thought this was going to be pretty cool because we've seen Oklahoma City, we've seen Tulsa, even though that's not there, but... If you were on the live stream yesterday, we went to a few places in Oklahoma. We didn't do the event, but um, we're just gonna uh, auto load cargo. One in the morning. truck let's do a pre-trip here because we're in a company truck we have to do that turtle lines are good kingpins in trailer legs are in that should be closed yep okay all good and check our, our wheels for anything. Our way to Clinton, Oklahoma. I love this company paint job. It's so good. And I love the sky. Look at the sky of Project Next Gen. It's amazing. The graphics are pretty crazy. Now there are some new truck mods, new car mods and stuff that uh, we'll probably be checking out in the future. Oh, that guy just blew that stop sign. Oh, they all are going to do that. There's a cop behind you, dude. See what I mean? Get on over. Safety is our number. Ooh, that guy was going to blow. See what I mean? People are blow stop signs. Returning. We're going to let that trucker go. You're going. I'm going. Thank you. Give a thanks to him by putting the flashers on. And 
this truck has blind side assist, so we should be uh, pretty safe. And I know, I know, I keep saying it. I will be making a 100 subscriber video. Like I said, I'm still working on it. <laughs> like, this one's going to be a big one. This is a huge achievement for me. So I'm tr trying to make it perfect. Um,. keep saying it and I will be saying it um, I am working on it I have so much things planned um, like there's like so much videos there's new car mods new truck mods um, Updated versions, uh, updated versions of trailers. Uh, the, if you guys do remember, we did a video on it. The Chevy Silverado got a huge update, I think, because it's it says incompatible, but that doesn't mean that it's getting updated. So, we'll probably check that thing out. Uh, the Dodge Ram from Frank Brazil's got another update. That's incompatible. We have to update that. Um, the Velociraptor still works. Um, Ooh, Mr. Car, come on, come on, speed up. Not really good with our driving here. Got the green light. Let's go. And on the highway we go. So I will be making a video about uh, the Um, event. That's another thing. Uh, what's the speed at? Seventy. Let's speed this thing up. Um, like I said, I have so much things planned for us on a on the channel, and wish I had. bunch of like a bunch of computers so I could do all this I only have one computer so but I wish I could make all of the videos all at once um, and there's breaks in between so I don't want to be so saturated on American Truck Sim on the channel. I want to like do other things with my life. It's not just American Truck. It's about like hanging out with family, uh, doing things, driving in real life. But I am trying on it. I'm trying. But the same, but at the same time, this game is so good that if you compare it to other games, especially especially with uh, I don't know, whatever, especially with uh, the Project Next Gen graphics with the 
graphics mod. It even makes it a whole different animal. I mean, like, I mean, yeah, there's Forza, but I mean, these developers over at SCS take their time with. I'm not saying that other developers don't take their time. They do. But. I don't know, there's just something about driving a truck being able to drive across the United States. I mean, there's the crew too, which you could, that's free roam and stuff. Um, like the new Motorfest. Uh, well, I at that game uh, until the price drops I mean it's pretty expensive they're asking like I don't know we'll probably check that out I do have the original crew too uh, but it's supposed to be crew the motor fest is supposed to be crew number three um, and there was the original original crew just called the crew which I think was on the Xbox 360 uh, which uh, is pretty cool. Look at this. So we are on Interstate something. We got a little gift shop over there or something. We got a gas station. Naf. Ooh, Mr. Cop, brake checking me? And we got a car dealership right there, which is, we can actually go inside of it and make deliveries. That would be pretty cool. Highway patrol is going on the highway. I'm probably gonna get a thumbnail here, but damn man, I mean there's just so much stuff, but we'll get into all of that. Uh, I did try and do the coast to coast map on the live stream. That completely fried the whole system. Uh, the newer, the newest uh, coast to coast map. And, uh, I couldn't, log I had to redo the account. So, um, because then other mods started, it just was a huge cluster explosion. Um, so, but, um, yeah, so that account went bye-bye because of the coast-to-coast -coast map, and then everything else started going downhill from there, um, but we are here, where do they, oh, there's the new, uh, trailer, we have to go and check that thing out. Where do they want it right there? Yeah, we could possibly we could put it in there. Okay. Pretty good enough. I need to get my thumb now. Shoot, I got to go. Uh Let's give our thumbnail here. I 
gonna try getting JBX graphics mod to work during the live stream, but apparently it did not like that at all. And we completely missed dock number seven. I like doing outside view because Dude, we keep hitting same. Just like that. They're happy until I'm not happy. All right. Well, there you have it. That's a pretty good parking job. Not gonna lie. I'm proud of. I'm proud with that. That's a really good parking job. Seventy-four miles. Two hours and 55 minutes, 14.1 gallons of fuel consumed. I mean, that one was close. So let's do another one. And there, that was literally like up the road. And do some that. And then uh, another Swift. Take that. All right. Cool. Cargo. Proceed to the loading area. Push that park and break in. Hazards need to stay on, but I don't know if I said this, but happy Wednesday to you guys. You guys are having a fantastic 
Uh, super fantastic Wednesday. And then we also made a uh, moving truck type of thing. So the moving people that we used called the Brita. B R E A T A, I think. It's a, I think, family owned business. Um, Oh, look at these guys, ATVs. Oh, there's a lawnmower. <laughs> lawnmower for the win. Twin turbo it. Estorado Corsa. Um, but we, uh, they used an international, uh, I took a picture of the truck, um, so I could recreate it in American Truck Simulator, and we recreated the truck they didn't have the moving trailer, and they don't have the burrito paint job, but but it was all white. Uh, they had a Wheaton trailer. Um, we created that, did a live stream about that. Um, and that's when the Coast to Coast map just like instantly fried that so that was fun um will i post that on youtube probably not but i am thinking of making a video which is going to be cool uh but i did use the two floor car hauler uh the nascar hauler as a moving trailer, which I'm thinking about making a video about that. So if you guys want to see that, that will be coming up here. I don't know if it's going to be in Oklahoma, but um, yeah, I'm actually going to get my thumbnail once we get uh, past this. Got like a little shop or an apartment right there forty five on this road we're going fifty three now it's fifty five miles per hour Sarah cruise control at fifty five we're good But yeah, once Missouri comes out, I hope they add that massive wind farm. I think it's in between Oklahoma and Missouri. I think it's in Missouri. But um, I know that's way in the future, but I am so excited of what to see what SCS can do. I'm going to get a thumbnail here once we get so yeah the farm the farmland once this car passes will be the utility truck right around here oh here uh. Boom.
from you car hauler in front of us. Oh my god. That is the new car hauler. My shifter isn't working properly today. Or my brakes. But he was like sleeping on the road. the outside view. Yeah, there's one coming. No one that way. We're good. Get into the right lane here. What is this on the opposite side of the road? What in the world? Police car. Interesting. I'm going to get another thumbnail probably right here. Hopefully those work. All right, I am back with the thumbnail. Um, took a few, but yeah, I do love the clouds and everything are just amazing. Oklahoma's, <laughs> I don't know. Oklahoma is really cool. It's designed really, really well. Very well. I love it. Woodward discovered. Hit the brakes, dude. Okay, we have no anti lock brakes whatsoever. Come on, dude. So, <sighs> I don't know what the issue is, but we need to pass this Volvo. Bank right there. Got a bank over there. Bank, bank. What is this? A hotel? But the cool part is what I've seen is that in a few cities there are pedestrians walking on the sidewalk. I don't know if you, anybody noticed that. But I know I sure did. I was like, oh, that's so cool. It's being a pedestrian. Like you would not see that in any other state, right? So I need to get on over. Thank you, Mr. Volvo. City Park. Another bank. No, it's not just S A T S Bank, it's ATS Regional Bank. Right. Ooh, blew that. 
shifter is not working. We're just gonna put unplug that right there. Oh, outside view of this project next gen. Look at those clouds. I'm gonna do some outside action for you guys here. So you guys can see Oklahoma. like one of the towns I'm not really good with the outside camera driving outside third person but hopefully that was good 65 through here got a cornfield bunch of cornfields let me just tell you that for right now Oklahoma is known for their farms well, not necessarily known but there's a lot of farmland So it is 70 miles per hour. We're going to set it at 55. Look at these rolling mountains. Look at that mountain off to our right. This is this is amazing. I'm going to the outside view so you guys can see. Boo boos. Uh. Love how no one's on the road whatsoever. Got an oil rig pumping oil. We got cat. Are those? Those are pigs. What? When pigs fly, right? Got a nice little rest stop right there. The viewpoint. Uh, that's going to be another thing where we, on the live stream, um, go to all the viewpoints. Because they have to have the panhandle. They have to. Can I actually go down that road? No, oh, yeah. There's a whole bunch of. Things to find, things to do. Plus, with the un. Oh, that's a whole off road trail right there. to the right lane. On farmlands for days. The sun is setting. So hopefully we make it there before the sun sets. Sorry, cruise control. We are cruising. But how are you guys enjoying it? If um if you guys do have it, what's your favorite part of the Oklahoma DLC? I haven't seen a lot of this stuff, honestly. Um, but it is. What's your favorite town in Oklahoma? Is it Tulsa? Yeah. 
like the little uh, details of the uh, towns and stuff. Like at that one town where there were like three banks in one area. Like that's kind of legit. In real life, there's one road out here where there's four banks. So there it was ATS Bank, ATS National Bank, and ATS Regional Bank. <laughs> and then the motel which so I thought that was funny three banks in one area actually on around one intersection got a police station right there got a nice little marketplace Got a railroad track. Downtown Igd. I don't know how to pronounce that word, but and another mall with a gas station. Uh, plaza. We got a church right there. And we're getting off right up here. But no, I love the detail. I love how the pedestrians walk on the sidewalk. I forgot what town that was in, but that's pretty cool. Anyway, our video is coming towards the end because we're in end Oklahoma. I'm just going to say end. Maybe it's, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. But I see it as end Oklahoma. It's this. Oh, and there are turnpikes. Lots of tolls out here. Lots of tolls in Oklahoma. All right. Making a right into the swift and what an easy drop this is I like the yards the yards are a little bit bigger I think they've they've improved a lot over the years I'm not happy until they are happy There we go. Shut off the engine. Pull the parking brake. Let's go out and take a look. Mm. Could have been closer to the wall, but also I did not want to break one of my mirrors off. But let's drop the trailer. Excellent. 121 miles. 3 hours and 52 minutes and 23.1 fuel consumed and also I got my first late for some apparent reason uh, it said late which was pretty weird um, which is unfortunate because I've been getting a lot of excellence and trying to be perfect with my driving that's really weird that one of the places that I was delivering said late. Uh, let's see. Um, let's go with some. Uh, just in time deliveries. Yeah, let's do that one. What a word. I do want to go to Gaiman. We have to, but we'll save that for a another video. But anyway, guys, that's gonna do it here. If you guys did enjoy this uh, 
this uh, video. I uh, like, subscribe, share it with a friend or a family member, uh, and uh, yeah. So if you guys did enjoy, like, uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Um, and uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of your Wednesday, and I hope you have a fantastic Wednesday. Yeah, peace out.